My name's Gaurav Manjal. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm a front end engineer at HedgeServe, and I'm a maintainer of Ember Twiddle and an all around open source contributor. I would um, had actually had slides prepared like a couple of weeks ago, but so much has happened in Ember Twiddle since that I decided not to bother with those slides. <laughs> So this is what Ember Twiddle now looks like. Uh, one of the major differences between this and last week is that uh, you, we are no longer using pod structure by default. We are now using uh, the standard structure by default. This was done because pods are no longer apparently the future. I don't know why, but they aren't. So um, we also, uh, the, the uh, it's a little easier for newcomers who uh, have first got into Ember and have no idea what pods are. They can go dive right in more easily. But a lot of your existing twiddles are in pods. So what are you going to do about that? If you look in, there's a file called twiddle.json in every single twiddle that you create. Uh, one of the things that it nicely does is uh, version tell you what version of twiddle it was created in so that all, we can ensure that your twiddles will remain compatible forever. Um, the options over there is uh, use pods. When you, um, if you were to switch that to true, it will cr st start creating new files in your in pod structure rather than in, um, in in traditional structure, just like a generator would. And you would, if you already have a twiddle in pod structure, you may just want to set this tag true in that twiddle so that you can uh, continue where you left off. But you don't have to. You can mix and match. The Ember Resolver understands that just fine. Um, the next thing I'd like to point out is uh, if you uh, have worked with Ember Twiddle in the past, you might have noticed that you had to copy and paste from gists to find your old twiddles. You no longer have to do that. We uh, have a save twiddles uh, page, which brings up all your twiddles. You can see all my twiddles forever. I have too many of them. Um, and you can just click on one of the one of the twiddles and just bring it right back up. And I'm back to just where I was a second ago, which is great. And uh, the next thing I'd like to point out is we've really um, been working on tests very hard in Ember Twiddle. Now, uh, this was a long effort, but uh, we've managed to make it possible for you to actually run, your automated, run an automated test in Ember Twiddle. This is great if you want to show the core team that, hey, why is this test not working? The code works, which happens a lot. Um, so it used to be and I actually had a whole presentation on how to write a test because it was so difficult. You had to bring in blueprints and create files and all that stuff. Uh, you no longer have to do that. You can just go to File, Add, go down to this new Tests bar. And if I can get it to stay there, you can see that uh, you get your, uh, what, what did Liz call it? The the uh, stages of acceptance or something like that. Anyway, um, you just, okay, this is, this is not fun. Uh, believe it or not, I can't see this screen in front of me. <laughs> now another, a uh, wonderful th thing we've done is um, you, all you have basically have to do when you're creating a new test is uh, make sure that your file name is correct for the test you want to create. You click OK, and it does everything you need. It creates all the blueprints you need for tests to run and adds them to your twiddle. And of course, the test fails because the, uh, the route that I just uh, are testing doesn't exist. But that can be fixed. Anyway, I'm going to move on. Um, if you go back to um, one of the things you can now do is actually open an earlier revi revision of a gist. Um, I'm going to open a new test. 
And it, the pro only thing with this is the, um, the, the, the UI isn't there for it yet, but we're working on that. But in the meantime, you just pick any gist you happen to have, go to the revisions tab, pick the revision you want to open, go up to the URL bar, grab the hash, and this is going to be fun, a hash of the gist and the hash of the revision, and just copy and paste it back to your twiddle, bring the URL bar back, And I can't see if that's right, but uh, one of the new features we also happen to have is that when you happen to have changed anything in your Twiddle, and you probably have done this, you've uh, accidentally navigated away from the page, um, you will find that uh, you lost your data. But now we actually have a confirmation dialog. This will hopefully save a lot of people a lot of time. Uh, so where is the extra letter? Yeah. Right there? Like that? Perfect. And once again, we have the, the revision of the gist that we had at the beginning. Um, thanks a lot for listening. Uh, there's plenty more going on in Ember Twiddle land. Uh, we are looking for help, help wanted tags in the GitHub. My name is uh, Gorov Zero on GitHub. And I'm Gorov9576 on Twitter.com. Uh, please feel free to contact me and uh, help us out.